Alright guys, so I'm at the stage of placing people and I thought I'm gonna share with you this cool old school technique for getting the right measurements of the height uh, while we paste cutout people in Photoshop. So we go back to uh, any program that you guys use, it doesn't have to be 3ds Max, I'm gonna do it in 3ds Max, but you can do the same thing with SketchUp, Maya, Blender and any other program. Okay, so first we gotta get some real 3D people, actual models, and uh, just give them uh, any texture. It can be white, it can be gray, black. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna use this as a mask. And uh, as you see here, uh, to get the right measurements, I gotta place my people. See, I got a lot of those. Those are actually 3D models. And um, this technique called the ghost technique with ghost people and I gotta find some object which is going to be my guideline for uh, placing those guys okay so I'm gonna choose my bench and just a couple of those guys here L Z and we'll see that this bench people are a little bit slightly bigger because the whole space is um, huge so placing really sm tiny small people exact of a size can be a little bit unrealistic so we want to make it beautiful in that case I'm gonna make my people a little bit bigger just a smidge not too much so you can see this is the bench and um, that's the person related to the bench so if the bench seat is right here kinda somewhere here it's about a little bit above the knee so that's about the right size but uh, I got them a little bigger as I said before maybe like 105 110 percent bigger okay so I'm placing those 3d people and um, I'm removing glass if I'm gonna put them inside those buildings I have to remove the glass otherwise when we render mask if those people behind some object um, if it's uh, stairs or something like that, it will cut them in half. But if it's behind some solid object, they will not be rendered. So I'm going to use this cool render mask free plugin. It was made by Ivan Tapivikharov, and you can download it for free. There's a lot of documentation. You can get a bunch of other rendering passes with it. But we are going to use it for the mask. So. I'm going to go back to my max and launch that pull again. I've made a shortcut, Shift R. After installation, we can uh, make shortcuts for this plugin. I'm gonna show this how to do in the training. And uh, we need to select our people. But first, if you have a glass, you need to hide it. So let's go hide my glass. And then we can go and select people and click render mask all right so the render was done fairly quick now we can go and click on the save button and save those people name it people already saved it so i'm gonna replace that okay and now we're gonna go to photoshop and see how we can apply this pass and here now we can go to our renders get the cutout people and let's drag and drop them to the new folder to the new tab and now we can press shift drag and drop it and it will fall into the place okay I'm gonna place my people between the trees because they need to be behind trees but before my first lighting pass and we need to remove the blacks as we know, screen mode removes the blacks. Voila, we got our people. So as you see, if you place them before your objects, they will go over your vegetation. Make sure to place them behind it. That way you will get the best idea of how your stuff works. Now for placing the people, I'm gonna use free cutout people. That actually just came out, I, wait, I visited uh, thesepeople.com and they have free cutout version 4 it's a combination of a bunch of their packages I worked for Kobe Carp for a year and we got I think five or six packages of those people 
and this one is a combination of casual and um, business and night and I think even swim pool we can see here a woman with a swimming suit okay so you can download it for free completely free and if you look for free cutout people on Google you can find a bunch of other folders and we're also giving some of those with uh, the Photoshop or architects training okay now I'm gonna go go ahead and open my folder take for instance this guy that walks bring it in make sure he's positioning the direction of the Sun and I'm pressing Control T to do the scale and Alt and Shift to do the scale within the proportions click enter now let's bring this guy in oops we made him a little bit too small so let's increase him in size Okay, now you guys need to put some shadows and I'm gonna add more people let's do another one let's put a woman on the bench this guy still looks a little bit too small now uh, the good thing about placing those people when we drag and drop them as you can see here they've been placed as an element and those elements can be scaled without losing their quality okay so if I'll scale it back you can see everything comes back so it doesn't matter like it happens with the JPEG when you scale it up and down you lose the quality but with those individual elements it's much easier however they do increase in size now for this woman we need to fix her um, mask so I'm gonna create mask and then I'm gonna go select my bench mask which is this Oops. yep and now I'm gonna go select my woman back again and take black color here with her mask and remove that Control D. okay but I need to bring her back back to the image so I'm gonna do that manually here like that pretty good also would be good to place her reflection in the water okay but generally speaking this is how you use this old school technique for blocking out your cutout people with render mask and using it in Photoshop in order to get the right proportions for placing the cutout. So I hope you guys enjoy it. There's more stuff to come. Share it with your friends. This is Alex, your very guide. Ciao.